Alright, well, I accidentally hit the goddamn numpad like an idiot. Great game, thanks. Anyways, uh, another, another two-parter episode. Okay, so, basically, I think you're like, yeah, it's like you try to get the one on the right all the way down. Meanwhile, you kind of just like, do this or something. Oh, you know what? Yeah, just can I get those completely down? No, I can't. Hold on a second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I want to get that to there. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Even them all out. Uh, it's okay. I took care of the cucumbers. It's it's finally done. Thank you. The ghost smile as he fades away. A few bones hit the ground below. You got a pile of bones and cucumbers. Rest in peace, poor guy. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, if I if it randomly pauses, that's because I'm eating some food in between this. So, okay, so this is like, what does it say? It's like you gotta. Oh, it says right there. Nine, seventy, six. You all right there, partner? Salt. Oh, geez. Okay, salt. Calm down. The salt is correct. It's finally done. Thank you. The ghost smiles. He fades away. The go. The bones hit the ground. Rest in peace. And then, what the frick do I do here, brother? Alright guys, I'll be honest, I looked up the solution to this, because I, I remember this being like the stupidest thing ever. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, you shovel like 30, how many was it, 30, 35, you shovel like 35 in there. And then you use this. There we go. It's not rot. It's not rot. What's wrong? Oh, temperatures. It's not rot. It's all wrong. Not rot at all. All right, then. Do you all wrong? Ah. Turn it on. Tss. Oh wait, no. That that that. Eh, son of a bitch. Okay, one more. Oh. Okay, it's 190. The vinegar is 190 degrees. It's it's finally done. Thank you. Okay, thank God we're done with that. What wait, what was that just said? The trash smells like dill pickles. So I thought I read that totally different. And then you turn it on. You pull the lever and there's deafening roars. The old machinery springs life. After a after a while, a load of pickles is deposited into a receptacle left of the switch. I got three ghost pickles. Huh? All that for three pickles? I don't know why this place went out of business. These things makes you difficult to damage for the rest of the day by turning you into a spooky ghost. Those are actually, I think, like one of the most OP items you can get, I believe. Also, harvest. And then I believe if you do that, you just live through the. Yeah, you just live through the whole thing again. Also, why this was a bounty, I have no idea because these ghosts did not seem to really care. Didn't really seem to care to be here, so. Oops, not that. Wait, hold on a second. I only got lava. F oh, I thought he had lava fava maxed. Oh well, not like I use that thing ever. Now I believe if we go to dirt water, then we can uh, be like, hey, what's up? Oh, fight it, yeah, sure. You know when I freaking can destroy uh, an enemy with a melee attack, you know something's wrong. All right, let's. Uh, well, actually, first off. Nope. Oh, okay, you got nothing for me. Go to jail. The Gherkin Brother Camping, various victims. Got him. Yeah, I, oh no, I gotta probably give him to the remains. 
Howdy, Marshall. How are you? Just fine. Do I put him in the cell? Wait, so what do I do then? Do I like... I thought I'd give them to her. I seen how did okay did I not get the right guys? Okay, give me a second here. All right, so I uh, looked online and apparently I just talked to the sheriff here, but I don't get wait. How did Marshall? How are, okay, so wait. I feel like the game is glitched because I have the remains, but. She won't take them. And I looked up and apparently she's supposed to call you Marshall if, uh... She's supposed to call you Marshall as a nickname for doing it or something. So I think it's glitched, which is amazing. Just, uh, just what I wanted. Oh, thanks, game. I'm eating some of my dinner. I feel like I'm streaming more than doing a, a, a YouTube Let's Play video. Hit him with the bean. Oh, it used the old beans. Am I grinding? No, I just want to... Yeah, so this does seem like actually a good way to make money then if that guy's willing to pay you like a shit ton of money for bulls, rings, and all that crap. Also, I want to see, is Susie ever going to get get a new, like, special ability to use? I want to see how many times she's going to carve a notch on her belt before she, like, levels up again. Because I feel like, uh... I feel like I'm missing something with her. She's still carving them notches. Oof, okay, uh, that's not good. Oh, they're whipping probably because I have such high uh, elemental resistance. Still carving them notches. Still carve. I wish I could. I, I wish I had like a character sheet for Susie so I could see her freaking level or just anything. You know, hold on a second. I'm, I'm just gonna go look up look up her thing real quick because uh does she even get stronger Susie Cochran mm, I love oh she no she only okay well that's dumb as, as hell she only gets uh she she's maxed out actually at least in terms of like skills so I guess that was pointless Mundo Geodes eat. I'm not eating that uh, but anyways, yeah, let's finally just get this shit going. Oh my god, Buster. Is it, you encounter a bandit who doesn't look like a bandit, like, due to the lab coat and slide, slide rule holster. Fortunately, she's also wearing the standard black bandit hat, otherwise you might not have been able to tell. Alright, Buster, this stick up. Hand over the meat. You don't seem to have a gun. How about I just punch you and leave instead? Ha, huh, I'd like to see you try. Besides, I invented the anti-punching ring, and when that helps me test it. Uh, examine her ring. <laughs> The anti-punching ring, how interesting. May I look at it? Are you using a protective matrix force field? Protective matrix? Positive matrix? What? No, it's sigma field derived sigma. Oh no, that won't do at all. Uh, no, do it all. It's, it'll soak some kinetic force, sure, but as soon as things get heavy, that's gonna overheat and burn your finger off. Ah, jeez, really? I ain't thought of that. Back to the drawing board, I guess. She tosses you the ring and turns to leave. I got a ring of moderate and punchability. What'd that do? Two armor. <laughs> Big whoop. Anyways, yes, we are finally here, and it's about time to... I'm the something leader of the DK crew. Any luck finding a supply of dynamite? The passenger... Uh, I don't remember this guy's voice. Probably some... Any luck finding a supply of dynamite? The passengers are getting restless. Good, perfect. This will do the trick just fine. Hang back for a bit while I get these fellows set up charges. I'll let you do the honors. Smee consults with the other workers, and they inspect the rocks for a time. Eventually, one of them shrugs pushes a whole crate of dynamite up next to the rocks and wires detonator. All right, let her rip. Uh, wait, uh, don't you have a longer detonator cable? Nope. 
Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give me a three count before you hit the plunger so I have time to get out of the train. Great. Oh boy, wonder if this guy's gonna go down. Uh, he's gonna... Uh, hold on. There's a very large and angry looking thing guy standing there. Apparently a little peeved at having years supply of dynamite blown up next to his butt while I was sleeping. How are you gonna handle this? I wonder what Outfox in 3 does. Hey, listen, sorry about the whole dynamite thing. We didn't know you were alive-ish. Anyways, it was just, uh, well that you woke up because you picked a really bad place to nap. This path through the mountains, nature wind, uh, is a natural wind funnel, and that place, and that, ugh, and that plus desert sand means this place would be an erosion nightmare. You'd be worn down to nothing in just a few hundred years. You need to find somewhere on the leeway, leeward side of the mountain where you will be protected from the wind. The creature seems to understand, and nods, thanks. Hey, see, there we go. Got the peaceful option. Oh, wow, that's as fine, as fine, a fine day's work as I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of this track down and head out now. Thanks. Or here, I'll mark your ma map. Oh, man, I'm having a hard time. Here, I'll mark your route in your map for you in case our paths happen to cross again. You discover a new map location, the Manifest Destiny route. Yep, same thing. Thanks, but can I just ride the train? Got a ticket? Ha, just kidding. Of course you don't. Every sound on this train sold out. Sorry, boss. Get back here. Let me in. Let me in. Anyways. So now, we go here. As you're riding along the dusty trails, you feel a change in the air. The area is thick with mystical bean energy. You ordinate your mind towards the axe of a powerful magnetic bean feeling of follow to cave. Sound series, the great garbanzo secret hideout. Follow be fellow bean wizards welcome. Uh, well, we're just gonna continue for right now. Hey, what's up? Hey there, Susie. You know, you're right about in the middle of territory back when the cows came home. This right here about where the first reports came from. Like, Ground Zero? Yep, there's a big ranch here, the first one to go. Seems like an obvious place to check out, for sure. Hell, Hellstorm Ranch, yeah, it probably is. Something tells me you ain't done running errands for that Smee feller yet. Hmm, okay. Still sleeping, still doing his thing. Hey, what you got there, jelly beans? Yep, gonna have one? Nope, please. You know, get your own. Where'd you get them? A little ways south from here. Fellow named Roy Bean. You discover a new map location. Roy Bean's house is Justice and Jelly Beans. The lay is still whistling to the beat. Oh, what's this? Uh, five T's telescope. Our young artist named Edvard Munch. You pay your meat and look through the big telescope at the canyon. It sure is big. It'll take quite a bridge to get across the thing, for sure. Aw, oh, boy. Howdy, boss. Howdy, Shmi. Stuck in? Yep, got ourselves one hell of a canyon to get across. No material for building bridges. Any ideas? There's an old mine uptown called Breadwood. They opened a lumber camp after the mine dried up. If you can fix a deal with them for the lumber we need, I can handle the engineering side of things. Okay, where is it? It's me marks the location of Breadwood Camp on your map. Of course, anything you find to build the bridge, at, bridge out of is fine by me. This seems like the simplest option. Let's see what I can do. Alright. So yeah, we now have uh, Breadwood, which is our next town over. Also, I'm going to eat some food real quick, so hold on. Alright, sorry for that, I was chewing and I was making a lot of mouth noises. Anyways, I just, before we do anything actually, let's go to... Where the hell is the prof the professor's house? Let's go there real quick. Why? Because now I can get uh, whatever it was I needed five scrap for. Good to see you again, have you got the five piles of scrap yet? Got him right here. He ambles over to a strange contraption in the corner of the room and begins to tinker. Great, let me just... Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, this'll do the trick. Let me just get this running, and then you'll be able to grab a keystone from it. I'll take another five scrap for each one you need. Are you familiar with the last Dutch oven mine? Grim place, but that's where I found the chassis for the fabricator wedged behind an unusual pile of rocks. Seems like a good place to start hunting. All right, yeah, I knew I was going back there at some point. All right, I'm in. Relocates all vibrato constructs to elsewhere. Yep. Uh, yep. Fabricate a key. Alright, got a key. 
All right, so yeah, we, we got some time. I mean, let's uh, let's check out the last. No, it wasn't this one. Give him a boost. Oh, I don't have a. I don't have the strength. And also, yeah, it wasn't this mine. It was a uh, coal ridge. Oh, excuse me. You're investigating a smoke nearby campfire, you find a band snoozing cozy beneath a large and colorful quill, which seems like a strange choice for camping gear, right? And then he wakes up and jumps to fear of revealing a large and quite colorful quill. is actually a large and colorfully quilted pair of pants. In stark contrast to his living pool pants, he is undeniably hostile. Misinform him. Out of there. Sorry to bother you. I was just looking at the elaborately quilted design of your pants. That's quite a find you got there. What do you mean? Well, you see, I'm a student of archaeology, and some of these patterns are very similar to an ancient script I'm familiar with. I believe they would be... They would have here maybe the key to lost civilization. Would you mind turning around so I can see the back? Non plus, he turns around. You poke, you poke at a heavy quilted fabric while lifting his wallet from his back pocket. Hmm, yes, about two days' rides north by northwest. Yeehaw! Thanks, stranger. Yep, got money and XP. Anyway, so yeah, this is the mine that was like had that crazy dude in it. I think. Yeah, I think it had the crazy dude in it, and then it had, like, the... Yeah, okay, we're good. Yeah, I think this is Yeah, this is it, isn't it? Or not. It's not. Uh... What mine was it, then? Oh, maybe it was the last... It wasn't the humming cave. Maybe it was the lost Dutch oven mine, and I just needed, uh... Yeah, I still gotta put on this stupid thing. Uh... Yeah, put that on. Yeah, this must be it. <laughs> Take a bite of food. Hold on. The pile was obviously made on purpose. Closer inspection reveals that the stones are mortared together. What could be hidden in here? Uh, magic the rocks away. Mind over matter, magic over rocks. Insert keystone. Oh, oh there we go. Alright, back in this fucky looking area. You better over the exam device and actually stub your taunt. It hurts, but the box is moving. It must be lighter than it looks. Take it. Oh, vibrato device. Alright, what does that do? Uh, quest item. Uh, where the hell that means? Look inside. Ah, no! You have learned the El Vibrato word for toilet. Oh, I remember, yeah. It's like you have to learn a bunch of, like, words or something. But it has three buttons top it. Push the first one. Yeah, do I just, like, fight these things or something? Well, I can get uh, El Vibrato scrap easy from this one. Ooh, didn't kill him though. But then again, they ain't killing me either. And then I guess just press, yeah, we're gonna fight all of them. Yep. Nothing to it. Just, uh, yeah, let's get, let's, let's, uh, Let's just grind for some El Vibrato scrap real quick. Probably the easiest way to kind of just do this. Plus, I'll eat some food while we're doing this. Probably the best video in this entire series, if I had to be honest. Yep, just smoking them like uh, like they were cheap uh, cheap firewood. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, what do I want? I got like. Ooh. I mean, I could, but at the same time, I think I want to get you to 15. And right, okay, that's it. Okay, one more, and then we'll get on with this.
Because by, by this time, I'll have, like, a decent amount of stuff. Decent amount of scrap and all that. Oh, Vibrato Keystone. Hey, there we go. So what did that do? Uh, not quite sure. Well, in any case, let's go back to the professor. to see you again. Have you had a chance to take a keystone to the lost Dutch oven mine and look for the unusual pile of rocks? You can always make a keystone with five more elbow of scrap in the machine over there. Indeed I have. Oh, did you find anything interesting? Shown, uh, found him, show him the strange device. Great, let's see. Aha, a marvelous find. This device makes batteries, or, well, once I fixed it. Batteries? Yep, the Elvari Bratzo... Bratons powered their portable equipment with little electric marbles, like this one I put in your transponder. I'm sure I don't have to tell you. Whoop. Uh, he was almost done anyways. All right, so we can get a battery. Got two batteries. Let's uh, let's head back on. Oh my, I just realized I'm gonna have to freaking. I'm gonna have to freaking go walk that entire way just to get back down to that cave. Frick. Ah oh, well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that while I eat my food. Then. the battery into the monolith and it springs to life. Everything goes blue for a second. XP and I gained the effect energized. You learn the Elvirado password for nuisance and system. Hey, what is the system shock? Two muscle, two to everything. Nope, still can't understand what that says. The machine is dark and there's a circular hole. The machine hums life. The screen says Cholaco Kuzuko. And there's a button, layout, whatever. Yeah, let's open that. A hey, portal or door. Well, it's busted. Uh, pretty, pretty broken. Big cylinder on top of the rectangle. Take it. El vibrato cylinder. And I still can't read that. It looks like it happened a long time ago. Okay, so it looks like immediately we're just gonna go back to the professor's house. Thank God I can fast travel from inside. There's an open grave here. It doesn't look like a skeleton. So I wonder if they're asking for a run. Jump and see what you find. They got teeth and whiskey. All right, Professor, what now? Professor examining something with the intense contract. Okay, well, I guess, uh... Uh... Uh, it's weird over... It's, it's slightly bigger than your head. As you place the ring on your head, two things happen. One is that it begins humming and shimmering in that weird uh, vibrato shimmer th Things shimmer. And the other... The other is that you feel suddenly you put your earplugs in your brain. Your thoughts are weirdly quiet. You sense surrounding magical and physical energy. It's almost completely muffled. Weird. It says weird. Not entirely pleasant. Take the headband off. Oh, okay. Minus five mysticality. Frick that. Okay. Well, I don't know where we go from here, but I just remembered that, uh, yet again, we're going here because now I can interact with that old guy. I remember this part. It's like once you get a headband, it's like... He's crazy, but you slip that on his ass, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, I'm normal again. Man, this is definitely like the worst episode of this entire series for multiple reasons. <laughs> Put the Elvira Brado on him. 
Oh my goodness, where am I? Ah, oh, I'm still in the mine. Uninjured and hungry, but not starving. So I can't have been here very long. Perhaps a day? Good, good. Well, I must thank you, friend. How are you feeling better? I should say so. Thank you for outfitting me with this remarkable device. Don't mention it. What's your name? Murray. Murray Morris. A vac excavator of the unknown and purveyor of mysteries. Fancy what brings you this mine. Uh, I was ex ex excavating the unknown for mysteries of Purve, of course, or at least attempting to. I must admit that until I tell you put this on device on me, I was quite overcome. Overcome? Quite. I'm oversensitive to psychic and emanations, and, and as you see. Always have been. So it's happened. This curious little hole is absolutely overflowing with them. And they're none too friendly, I can tell you. That for certain. It was too risky business. Me coming down here, but I took the gamble and lost. It's a miracle that things that you happen to... Ugh. It's a miracle thing. It's a miraculous thing that you happened by when you did, my friend. Both get out of here. As soon as possible. I've been staying in a town called Dirtwater. Capital idea. I shall see you there. See ya, Murray. Alright, so to finish up this episode, let's do two things. One, go to Dirtwater, because I think he opens a shop. So I might as well check out what he's got. Also, we'll be doing that, like, at some point, the DLC at some point. Not right now, but at some point. First off, though, uh, what do you got on the menu? Okay, he doesn't have anything new. What do you have on the menu? Okay. Uh, he's got... I, I had... Which one was it? I had one of these already. Oh, I think that's the new one. Regardless, though, Murray's Curiosity and Beans. Oh, well, hello again. Thank you for telling me about this little town, my friend. It's a marvelous location. That's two good turns you've done me. Ah, don't mention it. Speaking of which, here's a curious headband back. Fortune willing, I won't be needing again. No more gambles like that for me. Why is it so dark in here? Atmosphere, my friend. I saw mysteries. Things which cannot be properly experienced in the cold light of day. Why not? Well, it wouldn't be any fun. Ha, okay. What's all the merchandise? In a locked case behind me, there are things that must be kept from prying eyes and unprepared minds. And thieving hands? Well, that goes without saying. Gotcha. Uh, let's see what you got. Alright, so he's got all-purpose beans. Can serve any purpose if you are a master chef. I don't know what that means. Glass sphere. 10% item find bonus, but it goes in my offhand. 5 mysticality. It goes in my lap, I will take that. Magician's pants. 5 mysticality. I will take that. Ring of inconspicuousness. Get more non-combat encounters. Uh, I mean, I'll take it. You know, I'll just, just take it. Well, I only need one of those, but yeah, there we go. Alright, first off, Magician's Pants are better than the Flexel. Magician's Pants, and then we got uh, something to go over here, which was, what, the golden? Yeah, put that, and then you, I'm going to replace again with the large, uh, was it Owl? Yeah, large Owl plush, okay. And then finally, we are going to hit up Breadwood again for the fact that they have a general store there, and hopefully I can get something new. You've paid by two scouts facing each other? Yeah, let's just buy some. I feel like encounters where I immediately just see the only option is give up or fight, it's just like, well, just kill them. Bunkhouse, where, oh, is that the shop, the buttery biscuit? Uh, yeah, trading post. This place is a trash dump. Okay, grab the beans, grab the blank postcard. There we go, finally. Uh, I think I already have a monkey. No, I don't. Take, take, oh, I can't. Oh, I don't have enough money. Yikes. Wet boots. 20 hop resi resistance. Okay, first off. After you've done reading it, you donate to local orphanage. Soon the orphans will, yep. Soon the orphans will something. And what can we get here? Uh, let's see. Butterbean reduces opponent's skills, which I don't think is good. Reduces... Uh, resistance against elemental or bean golem. Honestly, none, none of them are really needed that much, but I'll take bean golem just because I think it's kind of funny. All right. Yep. So there is bean golem, and there's safe safe lock picking. Off camera, I'll probably level those up, but uh, until then, it was a good one. Not really because I just ate food during it. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.